Hi everyone, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and today I have a special guest with me. This is Jordan from Zebra Studios. She has um, an Etsy account where she sells painted toms, but the really special thing about her, well, there's several, but one is she's like my bestest little niece. Um, her favorite. Her favorite, yes. Well, yeah, it's hard to top her. She actually, interesting story, you guys might like this. I'll give you a little tidbit um, about me. Um, 20 years ago, almost, my sister and I were pregnant. What? Not quite. In the summer, Not quite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 20 years ago this summer, um, my sister and I were pregnant at the same time. We were due about two weeks apart. And as it turned out, um, her baby came early and mine came on the due date. And my oldest daughter, and this cute niece right My here, twinner. her twin cousin, were born on the same day, in the same hospital, in the same room, six hours apart. I was holding up two, I don't know why. Six hours apart. So they have a pretty special relationship and I'm really excited to be visiting her today. And so let's get started. Um, I will talk about her Etsy um, account or website, no, Etsy store. Um, at the end of the video and give you more information about what she does. Um, she is truly uh, a part of the family and has been given the gift of painting, which you will like to see. So, I've had a ton of viewers asking me about a One Direction project and because today is the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Team USA. Team USA. I did track and field because I was a hurdler in high school. And volleyball. She plays volleyball. Play college volleyball. Yeah. So many accomplishments. So we're going to do, because the One Direction boys are originated from London, I thought how better to kick off the uh, Summer Olympics of 2012 than to do some One Direction shoes. Um, so I went and I got a pair of red Toms. Um, and I have drawn on my 1D right here. And I want to tell you kind of how I got to this um, being on the shoe. At first I was going, because I wanted it to be exact for their logo, at first I was going to try using tracing paper and just trace that on there, but for some reason it wasn't showing up really well on the red. So because it's big enough on a shoe, what I actually ended up doing was just went to Google, typed in One Direction logo, and came up with um, all kinds of logos, printed it out, cut it out, and traced it on there. So anybody can do that, don't be afraid. So that's what I did on there. And I'm gonna have Jordan um, get started with our basic craft paint. Um, I need some plates right here. Um, that you can get at any local craft store, and I'll have more information about that on the This is a big website. tube, but you can get the small ones for like a dollar. It's really, paint is not the expensive part, and this isn't an expensive project at all. These are great and fun. Fresh. And I'm also, is that one oh. good? Also going to, on the website, on showmecute.com, I will have a ton of information for you this time as far as um, ideas I got from Jordan and new stores to where to get um, Tom lookalikes that cost just a fraction of the amount of Toms. Um, so then on the other shoe, I'm going to do a, heart, a giant heart with the British flag or Union Jack, some people call that. And so, but the first thing I want to do is paint my giant heart blue. And if you are uncomfortable paint, uh, drawing out a heart, you can use a cookie cutter, you can print one of those off the internet as well. So I'm going to get started on that. You can watch me paint, we'll speed up the video, and I'll come back and talk to you about the next process after we've painted.
All right, my blue heart is finished and dry. I used a blow dryer to speed up my dry time. And so I had just gone online to Google Images and pulled up a picture of a British flag. And I am going to do a disclaimer right now to people who are British. This is not meant to be an exact. And so if I get something wrong, I apologize. No, no offense, <laughs> but we, um, so what I need now is a plus sign going through the middle and I'm just going to start by, if you are unsure about doing this, you can always draw it on first, but I'm going to have faith that I can do this and I'm going to wing it. I will go back and get the fine edges in just a minute, but for right now I want to get this plus sign. So basically what you're doing is making a plus sign and then having um, lines come out from the corners of your, from your four corners. And if you hear, I'm, I'm not at home this week, I'm visiting my sister. so. If you hear voices in the background of the video, it's all the little cousins outside playing in the swimming pool that we have asked to be quiet while we're shooting this video, but you know, they're having so much fun. I'm on my final stripe of the white portion of this and I just wanted to show you really quick. So I did a plus sign and then an X going through the plus sign and I just wanted to see you, show you before I finish that, how easy that was. It all will all look very different in the end. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry, and then the next um, step is going to be adding the red on top of that, which I'm also gonna add a little bling to it. So let me let this dry, and I'll come back and show you the, the final part. Okay, I am starting the, the red stripe on here and I learned something new from Jordan um, when using glitter on the shoes. So if you're choosing to add glitter, um, I painted that white underneath, which is good, but I'm getting a nice thick layer of paint so that the glitter can really um, sink in there. And if you do it too thin, then the glitter is not going to stay and as soon as you wear it and touch something, it's going to come off. So make sure that that paint is really thick when you put it on there mm -hmm. so that glitter can really stick on. So what I'm doing is, and this is just that micro fine glitter that you can get at any craft store, comes in all different colors. Um, I usually get the Martha Stewart brand. I love that stuff almost as much as Sharpies. And that glitter, I mean, you can do anything with it. And they come in packs, like the Martha Stewart ones come in big I just packs. got one with neon colors and I absolutely love it. It's Ooh. just big packs of glitter. Maybe we should do neon glitter toes. Yeah, yeah. We have exactly. that video. Um, so what I'm gonna do, you can see that it's messing up my white in there. So what I'm gonna do is gonna finish all the red where the red needs to go. And then I'm gonna go back with my white once it's all dry and clean up those lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and do my Sharpie outline and wrap this shoe project up. We have finished these adorable shoes. I can't believe how cute they turned out. Um, Jojo did this one and they're so cute. And then this one we finished up. I went back and cleaned up those white lines around the outside of the glitter real quick and then we finished the whole thing off outlining with black Sharpie. Yes, my favorite thing in the world. This is Zebra Studios on Etsy, and I'll have her link as well on showmecute.com. So go check out her designs. If you don't think that you can paint these yourself, she'll and paint I'm them for you. And I'm always up for making whatever you want. If you have it in your head, I can paint it. So just message me on Etsy or email me through my thing. I will totally help you out. Yes. She's one talented little girl. So, um, go to showmecute.com, look for all the pictures. I'll put pictures of her shoes on there as well. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check back later for another super cute idea.